Hello, monkey minions. Evil monkey DKS here. I'm at my secret lair. It's straight ahead. It's kind of straight ahead, and slightly to the left, but that's okay. But shh, it's a secret. Anyway, uh, I thought I would show you how far I've made it with the tunnel. All the way! Yay! Um, if I put this one back, trouble with going to the end farm is you just hop back to your bed. Also, it's quite loud. Um, but yeah, well, I don't know why you're suddenly on the left side of the cart. And I'm in the wall. Ah, I'm in the wall! Ah, help! Help, I'm in the wall! Ah! Ah, what do I do? Ah! <clears throat> anyway, um, so this is the secret tunnel. It's so secret, even I'm not allowed to look at it. That is what's going on here. Um, but anyway, I have been, uh, over at the, uh, cow farm in the nether, wait, in the end, and, uh, it's been a little broken, so I'm trying to fix it. I actually, the dispensers aren't working at all, so I've taken out the dispensers, and, uh, I'm going to just, uh, continue from there. I don't even know which way I'm facing anymore. Um, but anyway, I will show you where this tunnel comes out. Uh, here we go. Look, I can actually see myself again. So it comes down here, and then it makes a turn to the right. And then we come to the end. I turned around? I think I hit a pig man. Uh, well, this is what my end of the tunnel looks like. Okay, okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh. There's something very wrong with this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and widen the tunnel. You know, why not? Alright kids, I got myself a little distracted. I, uh, I made a new rail line out of the nether hub to the a slime farm. I started fixing the cow farm uh, at the end farm. There's a lot of farm in that, that uh, sentence there. Uh, and 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 then I got. I don't remember if I finished that. <laughs> I don't think I did. It's giving me uh, troubles. So anyway, then I came over here and I decided I'm going to start digging this out. So what I have is I have this ring up top, and I think this is going to be my my opening, uh, which will be open to the world. I may or may not put glass on it if uh, I get annoyed by rain. And uh, now I'm just kind of digging out. And this is going to be... I also have a couple of furnaces cooking up some, some smooth stone for me. This is going to be weird for me. I usually, when I build something, go by the numbers. But instead, what I want to do is I want to dig out an area... Um, that basically just goes to the edges of this naturally occurring mountain, which is going to be a new building style for me because I, you know, I I don't I'm I'm very OCD. I like things uh, actually I like things asymmetrical, but I like them asymmetrical on purpose. So this will be randomly generated asymmetrical, and uh, it'll be interesting. But basically, as I dig all of this out, I'm going to eventually just poke out and see sunlight, and whenever I do that. I'm then going to have to replace that with smooth stone. So this is my current plan. Um, I have uh, I don't really have a ooh, ooh, see like right there. So like that is the end of this wall. But this one's coming out, and oh that one's staying. So there's going to be a lot of this, and it's just going to be an incredible waste of fuel. Uh, trying to like plan here what's what but anyway that is uh, that is my current goal <clears throat> I am actually homesick today because I'm not feeling so hot so I decided I should get some digging done if nothing else and uh, now that I have my rail tunnel, 
Well, temporarily done. It's not done by any means. Because I have a lot of things that I want to do to it to make it nicer. But it is at least done so that I can use it and get back and forth to and from spawn. Now, this is for all the uh, all the rest of the monkey miners out there. If you run across my tunnel and you find uh, uh, the, the way to get here, that's not allowed. So you have to close up the tunnel again and uh, and and not go down it because you have to find it the real way by actually finding the entrance. Currently, you cannot get to the entrance without breaking blocks. So uh, as soon as I actually have something interesting down here, I will I will open that up and I will make some sort of secret something lever uh, button. Who knows? Uh, I'll leave that for now. Um, so, if you find it, play the game nicely and, uh, and leave it there. What I really need is a silk touch pick. That would be really convenient. So, yeah. This is going to be the next, uh, week of my life. Yeah, so I'm working on a um, a more edited video instead of this. It was actually going like I'm actually like writing a script and stuff as sort of a welcome video. Uh, if anyone, of course, comes up with one, then I will absolutely take a look at it and just post it as a video response to any one of my videos on season three. <coughs> um. I have one video that I was going to use, but uh, I don't. It, it it wasn't really planned out so much, and uh, I I think it's pretty funny, and I'm going to release it. But it's not really a great as a welcome video. It's more I think it's funnier for you guys who have been following me for a while than it will be for anybody new. So. I got two videos in the works that I have not released yet, and uh, I am uh, I'm excited for those actually because those are a lot of fun for me. One of them I'm waiting on some other people who are very very busy, but I'm going to dig out a whole bunch, and then I will come back and show you my progress. Or I will come up with something interesting to talk about, and I will come back and talk to you like you're real people. So I don't think I've talked about this out loud, but the reason that I've been using um, unenchanted pickaxes is because in order to repair them, uh, it costs three to three uh, iron ingots. Uh, but when they're enchanted, it's usually three or four. And the amount of time that I'm going through doing this, I would be actually wasting more iron than I would be gaining anything else. Which is why... Fortune, 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 fortune. None of you are silk. Uh... Which is why I've been doing this with just making new ones and letting those die. But I want to see if I can get a Silky Touch pick. And uh, that would be lovely. But worst comes to worst, I might just sit here and enchant a whole bunch. And use the enchanted ones over and over and kill them. Instead of the unenchanted ones. Because they'll at least go faster. Um... And, you know, sadly, we have made our server far too easy where we can just get as much of this as we need. And it takes mere minutes to get to level 30 and enchant a brand new pick. You know, so now that I can get back and forth easy again, I don't actually mind. 
I, uh, but I, I did. I do have a problem where working in the end this much, I have to uh, keep a cart on me, or I'm not gonna have any carts at the lair side of my tunnel because I never actually go from the nether spawn to the lair. I just take the bed back. So anyway, oh, let me show you over here. I was working on the cow farm. Um, well, let me enchant this so I can get the. Hang on. Wait one second. Maybe this time I'll, I'll try a couple, uh, let's see. Efficiency. Well, hey, nothing else will go faster. Uh, and then let me collect these little, little experience balls here. Alright, so the cow farm, which is wide open, um, you flip this switch and it closes this wall. When you flip this switch, it's supposed to... I'm going to eat so it doesn't annoy me. Oh. Are you guys all like... Hmm. I have to breed in there. Because it is empty as heck. I, I was working on it and I wasn't really paying attention to how empty it was. So, let me do that. Hey, hey, hey. Who's hungry? Wow, it's really empty. Anyway, um, so I won't be able to test for a while. But the problem I was having, I'm still having in fact, is this line of redstone up here is on top of these pistons. No, I'll try that again. This line of redstone over here is on top of these pistons. I'm like, those pistons are going the wrong way. I'm confused. So I wired it up so they turn off and on. But right now, you see how they're off? Uh, there's no redstone here, but they don't retract. And there's some sort of weird bud switch here somewhere. And I don't know where. Uh, this was the old redstone line here. Um, it apparently has gotten flooded. And I don't know how to get off of here without dying. Because right next to me is the void. So I'm not really sure, like there's no other redstone around, so it's just this guy here and it powers this, which sends it out, and that works every time. And then you flip the lever again and these are all lit up and nothing happens. So I don't know why. Um, I don't want to do it now, oh, it's open again. Hi guys. Okay. So, anyway, I don't know what's up with that. I am going to make myself a whole bunch of picks. I didn't get much further than when you last saw me, because my pick was dying. That was my last one, and then I had to get up, and it was a mess. So, I will be back again. All right, so, one, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 picks. One silk touch. This is my problem with enchanting. Enchanting is great. And for people like us with this, you know, really nice uh, ender ender, it doesn't really take a long time. I've probably been here maybe a total 15 minutes, and I just enchanted all of those picks. But... Like, for people who are out in the wilderness and trying to survive and just want that one thing. In this case, it's Silk Touch, but maybe it's Fortune. Maybe it's um, Knockback on a sword, you know, whatever. It's just, it's so random that it takes all of your hard work and basically says, eh, I don't care. You know, you'll get whatever you get, and then you have to try again 30 levels later. I don't like the way that works. Books are even worse. Because books, instead of, you know, just the enchants you can get for a sword or for a pick or for a chest plate, it's everything. And trying to get anything out of books is ridiculous. We have, we have chests full of books here. 
um, that just don't do anything. Uh, and it's it's too bad. Um, but hey, we have a new person on the server, so I'm going to go say hi. That would be about it. Okay. So. <laughs> I haven't said okay so in a long time. <laughs> uh, that's going to annoy me again. All right. Anyway. Um, I have my portal over there in my bed. I moved all of the chests that were right here and the furnaces that were right here. And I have started building down here, as you know. Um, and that means that is... All right, fine. Oh, wait, before I do that. I can light that up. I'm going to bust through this. Fine, I'll actually use the axe. I no longer need to go up there. So now I'm going to continue to dig this out. And I have a ladder that comes down to here. Let me show you what's down here. Uh, this is where I decided my, the center is going to be long ago. So I dug straight down with the, the two block method. And, uh, and I found this big open space. And I said, oh, that's a neat big open space. And then I went over to where... Ooh, there's something over here. Lava? Aha! That's always important for an evil lair. Especially a volcanic evil lair. Um, actually, I haven't even explored through this yet. As you can tell, because it's not lit. Um, so then I decided this is where I want my entrance to be. So my entrance is that way. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Um, and then I just moved all of the storage down here. And, uh, yeah. So that's that. This is all dirt. All of this is dirt. All of that is dirt. And then it's built over to there. This is the start of the smooth stone, which I'm getting from my silk touch pick. I also have a fortune three pick. So if I see any uh, coal, I'm going to put the coal in here so I can make more of oops, of this into smooth stone should I need it in the future. Um, but what I really want to do is... Oh, I have to go use the secret net tunnel now, don't I? Can't just go up anymore. Yes, I can. I'll ender ball out. Um, what I really want to do is get the lava flowing. So I think... That is going to be um, either the last thing in this episode or the first thing in the next episode. I've, I've kind of lost track as to where I am on time. Uh, so I will have to go look at my times. And then, uh, actually, I have more digging to do anyway. So I have to finish the grass, the dirt removal. So that has to really be next um, before I can do anything else. So that is the next plan then. Dirt removal. Which there isn't a ton of. Uh, I also realized that when I flew around in the last episode with monkey cam to see how much I had left, that was a stupid way of doing it because no one else can fly around. So it's not going to look like that to anyone else. I really will only care how it looks to people who are around here. Um, specifically, me. So I'm probably not going to do that again. Um... But that, uh, that's about it. Super Soldier is new. Uh, he's a real life friend. Sorry for those who are annoyed that we added someone new. Um, well, that's what you get for knowing the guy who owns the server. Um, <laughs> but I am going to do some more digging. Still can't, haven't decided what I'm going to do with this waterfall yet. But anyway, I'll be back, and I'll figure out if there's more of this episode, or if I'm done after that. Okay, so, I've done a lot of digging. I believe I am pretty happy with how far out I went. Grass is gone from most of the area. I went down here a little bit. 
sort of let this hill kind of grow into it. I'm trying to keep it as natural looking as possible. Um, oh heck. Um, you know, some of this, it looks man-made, but it's not. I haven't actually even touched it. So that's all right. It's a little tall here, but they got this big mountain here and this is all there. So I'm not going to go down too far over here. Over here, we come down. I'm going to watch my step over here because it's a big hole. Dug all this out. Dug all this out. Tried to fade this down a little bit. Except they had a really, really efficient shovel, so some of this is kind of a mess. I don't really care. We all know that's a lie. It's going to bother me eventually. Um, that's a chunk error over there. That would be a cave system. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of a lot of dirt that I didn't pick up because I was totally full and I just kept going. So, this is where we're at. My next step is to go get some lava. Which is going to be hard. I don't know where I'm going to find lava. Oh, I could go in the nether. I was kidding when I said I don't know where I was going to find lava, by the way. Uh, I do have to get some ladders and make a drop down there. And that I will probably do off camera in case it reveals any other rails or tunnels or anything like that. I don't think it will because I think I'm pretty far out here. Um, but yeah. So that is the mountain. Which will soon be a volcano. Alright, so. Here on my tunnel. I made a ladder. It's okay. There's nothing down there. Oh, well, there's nothing visible. Recognizable, perhaps. I also went down and I grabbed some lava buckets already. That looks weird. It looks like you're going up. Or forward. Maybe straight forward. Weird. Anyway. It's like 2.30 in the morning. I don't know why I'm still up. <laughs> but anyway. We are going to make some lava. And I came all the way over here because I didn't want it right directly where I was walking. Alright. We have a bunch of lava. Now, here's a, here's a uh, pro tip for you. Don't walk around with lava buckets full on, like, selected on your hot bar. Because you will set yourself on fire. Guaranteed. So, don't do it. It's really bad. All right. Well, regardless of what else, whatever else happens, we know we want lava here somewhere. I like that little ledge. I wish there was another one on this side. So I might have to make that happen. Go both ways. Good. 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 Alright. Volcano has started. Let's go up to, to the top. Hope I don't land in my fire. I honestly have no idea how this is going to work. But we're just going to plop some stuff down. Like that. Kind of randomish. Should go four blocks. But just going straight like that is kind of boring. But we'll see what happens. I don't want to go. I don't want to do too much because it's very hard to clean up. So I'm just going to do some here and there.
I always forget you can use the numbers. Up. You gave up, didn't you? I'm just going to put another one there. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll just fill in that hole. Okay, hopefully we didn't go too far here. How's this one look? Not bad, not bad. So it does spread out. So let's take a look from out there, because this is the first view people get. So this is, to me, the most important view. And it's about to be nighttime. Oh boy. I actually think this will work going to be completely covered on this side. Not the end of the world. <laughs> it's setting grass on fire. Watch out, cows. much brighter over here now. I like that. I like that. Need more over here somewhere. And then I gotta figure out exactly what I'm doing on the top. I'm not really sure yet. So you come out that way. So let's go here. It's a little further down. Okay, good. That's going both ways. I don't think I need... Oh, yeah. So, good. I was going to say, I don't think I need more here. But if that's going to go that way, that's fine. I Actually, I like the way this is doing it. Because this is a natural mountain. And if this were an actual volcano, this is how it would go. Mostly. And I think the light levels are better now. <laughs> Let's go to the original bed location. Yeah, I want more right there, but I don't know if I want to put more there, because then I don't want it to spread out over here more. That's a nice little hole right there. This is a bit empty, but that's okay. I think this is pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I also think I found a skeleton. Nope. I was going to see if I could get up high enough before he, he started bothering me. That's not supposed to be on. Eh, it's alright. I'll edit it out. That I will actually edit out. So there you go. F1. Volcano. F2. Screenshot. As some of the 
the background disappears. I think that'll work. I actually think, and I'm going to tell you guys straight out, I'm going to put the main entrance right there. That will be the main public entrance. I have a back door, I guess I'd call it, um, so that I can get in and out. But that's where I'm going to have everyone else go in. And that will be, you know, there'll be traps and puzzles and things like that. I, I guess I am taking a page from Generic B's book um, with the Hermit's Hurt and Hurdles. But uh, that's okay. I'm evil. I'm allowed to steal. Um, and there's no new ideas in the world anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I didn't realize that's what I was doing until recently when I figured out that that's what I was doing. That sentence was stupid. Anyway, I am going to go to bed because it is uh, it's late. Well, it's actually early. So I probably won't edit this today, tonight, this morning, whatever. Probably won't edit it now. But thank you guys for watching. Stay evil. I was going to say stay classy, but I'll say stay evil. And I will see you next time. Good night.